everyone this is Ivan from One Hive 2.0 bringing you another war recap and highlight episode today we will be looking at uh, two wars in fact and this will be a David versus Goliath uh, semi special uh, it would make more sense as I go on so in this war we have seven town hall tens on our side two of them are 9.5s and we ended up getting matched with 22 Town Hall 10s. And their bottom Town Hall 10 had level 2 Inferno Towers. So it was a pretty big mismatch. Uh, our war plan was our first attacks were 2 star attacks. So you see like the Go Wipes, Go Wee Wee, and pretty much anything that could... Uh, Pretty much guarantee you the two stars so our second att attempts would be uh, three star attempts but these level two inferno towers and up were pr and the extra expo proved a little bit too much for us because none of our town hall nines ended up getting any of the three stars on their town hall tens and of course they all their town hall nine and below they actually had a town hall eight on the 30 and the rest were town hall nine which were cleaned up uh, real, uh, we try to get those cleaned up real soon in the war to see where we stand. After that, uh, we were holding attacks, especially the higher end players or the higher level heroes, such as myself. We would be holding our attacks and see where it was needed for a cleanup. Let's see, as you can see, that um, uh, they end up getting some three stars on us because they, some of them, most of the top heavy guys had max troops and. Pretty much you could use a like go wipe or they were go wipe attackers. If we and some of them actually use a Lalo attack on us, one of the three stars. And max troops against pretty much any town on nine. If you know what you're doing, you could uh, pretty much three star anything, any town on nine and below as a town on ten, a max town on ten in troops in offense. But as you can see it came down to the three stars. So a lot of the town of ten Although using Go Wipe, they couldn't three star a lot of our Town Hall 9. And as stated, if they remotely knew what they were doing, they could have easily won this war. And as you see, uh, most of the two star, they had a lot of um, attempts using the same composition against us, and it just doesn't work out, especially with our anti 3 bases. And there's not very much to show especially with the town of nine being really preemie although the town tens were really preemie but those level two infern tower ta towers was really uh hard for us to deal with especially uh whenever we don't have much experience on those but i would like to show you um, a rec room uh replay and i'll go on to the second war okay so i think he has max um inferno towers uh Level 3 Expos, all three of them. And he used uh, a Lalo attack here. Dropped a, a CB, drop or a Shattered, I'm sorry. Created a funnel with his Queen and Wizards after dropping a Golem. Has a Lightning Spell for the CC troops. The Max Wizards does really uh, a lot of damage to your Golem. They can go down pretty quickly and kill your raid. And he has a. One Inferno down, or about to be down, and the air defense was down already. And the Queen, if anything, should take out the Expo. No, end up just aiming for the Town Hall. It's not doing. So, two um, Hounds at the bottom left with some Rage, all air traps against his troops, Surgical Loons around. Another Hound on the top 80. Free spell on the Inferno Tower. Nice. You see us three back in looms. Air Sweeper. It does make a big difference in the Town of 10 level because of all the extra uh, defenses with Inferno Towers, the higher 80s. He still has the level 9, uh, Town of 9 level 80s. But as you see in the max level, it the Air Sweeper actually matters at the Town of 10 level, in my opinion. With the extra expo and everything, it could kill your air raid pretty quickly. 
but last defense is down and it's all just cleaned up uh, great attack probably our premier uh, talent attacker here at 2.0 and let's finish this raid and let's go to the last war we had okay cool so the last war we had was against a um, the elite few they who are I guess they're like a new clan still at level one but the thing I wanted to show you guys was we ended up matching against 34 town of tens to our seven town of tens as I stated earlier uh, they were not there were none 9.5s on their side they all had inferno towers but it wasn't as much of a threat to us especially with they were super rush their heroes were really bad I think some of them didn't even have a queen but they built the infernos and they were at level one and as you see they didn't even try after we we came out gunning where our plan was still the same uh, two star attacks for our first attack but our we use a go wee wee with back in loons and hogs or go white with back in loons and hogs and we ended up running into uh, three stars which was really nice it's a big thing a lot of our members stated that it was the first time three starring a 10 they felt good especially with a uh, matchup we have coming soon with a, uh, a elite war clan I think we have one more war right now before we actually start matching up with them and that'd be cool so let's uh this would be the david versus goliath show now let's look at an attack by mouthpiece okay he's using a mass witches strategy here i actually have not seen this been uh really busy watching a lot of replays and uh, some real life stuff using minions to create a funnel so his uh, witches won't uh, run to the side of the base and it will just funnel right into the core. Dropping his heroes to clear some buildings. The <clears throat> This raid is pretty much you want to take out all their um, splash damage, mortars and wizard towers. And after those are like taken out, Pretty much it's over. There's too many uh, Larry's as I like to call them from the commercials. There's just too many for their point defenses on the defense to kill them in time before they uh, take out your defenses. As you can see right now with the Rage heal, he still has a heal in his pocket. His queen is still up. The skeleton does a lot of um, tanking for it. And no jump spells just one no none for the back end me personally i'd like to bring an extra jump spell just to make it faster but with this uh, base it's really preemie walls are still uh, underdeveloped his golem just popped and now it's even though there's defense is still up it's pretty much cleanup time there's way too many uh Oh, the giant bombs hurts but look at all the skeletons already probably like hundreds of them and the raid's over, it just has the top half of the base. And it just looks pretty cool to me. All the skeletons. Let's fast forward this a little bit, got a lot of attacks to show. And this is actually a mouthpiece. First uh, three star on a town of 10. A very nice attack. Really awesome to watch. And that's it. Wait for this to finish up. Just the uh, witch's death. Okay, next attack we will look at Spiegel attack. He is bringing actually, I think this might be a second attempt. Like I said, so he knew where the bomb was, the giant bombs. Lure 
clan castles. Uh, the standard CC kill 212. Some wizards behind his witches to do some damage, doing a shatter go home. Some um, giant bomb pop. Warbreakers would get through the first ring. And now his heroes and golems would be uh, funneled into the core. Uh, queen on the out, the enemy's queen on the outside is a really bad placement. Don't place your queen in the middle. I, even if it's this side, at least put it behind some defenses, make it harder for us to get to or any other clan. And so now his goal is to um, kind of carve out a little bit of the core, take out the inferno towers because they're like a major threat to your hogs since you can't uh, heal them. And now he's just doing a, a surgical attack around the base. And King, Queen is still up. Inferno Tower. First one is down. Second one just went down. And now the that's it, it's over. The Queen, King. So there's plenty of hogs left. And it's just all cleaned up at the moment. Uh, sprinkle some wizards around the base. This giant is still up. The enemy's king is still up, not really a threat. They'll just be chasing down that wizard on the bottom. And really nice attack, uh, Spiegel. Waiting for a cleanup. Got a few hogs left. Take out the king. Two giants still up. Last uh, storage. Alright, and let's check out the next attack by Ido. This is a Go Wee Wee. Oh, we actually had the Town Hall on the outside. I have not seen this tag. But it's like a box shape. So, right for a Go Wee Wee attack, like I said in the last episode. Easy lure, clan castle on the side. It's like a farming base, pretty much. And his uh, golem would be doing the tanking while the wizard takes out the first line of defense. And the witches will go in and gonna do a lot of the cleaning up, take out the air defense. Rage, just your standard uh, go wee wee uh, strategy. And the thing with the Thing you have to worry about is he has both singles and they really hurt your heroes and golems because they would take them out in seconds place a really nice rage on top of them it's although they take out uh, troops pretty quickly they cannot take out mass troops quickly meaning like the loons will be able to take them down pretty quickly on the rage especially and just the air the last air defense looks like going to take out the, his last cleanup loon but he still has all, he brought four witches, he still has three up, so that's that's a big plus. Drop just a wall breaker, drop some troops. And that's it, it's just cleanup time. Enemy's king is up. Very nice attack, you know. Okay, and let's look at a few more attacks and we will be done. Let's look at some top Town Hall uh, attack. This is by Maverick. This would not be a Dave vs. Sky style. This is uh, one of our Town Hall 10s. You see he has uh, max uh, Inferno Towers. He'll be using a Lalo attack. Drop some Hogs to Lure. And I figure he would be luring. Oh, he's doing a Lalo with the 2 1 2. Very interesting. So I guess he sees the Queen as not much of a threat on the outside. Oh, he's gonna. Hmm, interesting. I actually haven't seen this attack. So King on the top left will take out the Queen. 
his queen on the bottom right side. So he would be coming in from like a the northeast front, pretty much one side. And they're funneling correctly correctly. And now his queen needs to um, take out that air defense. The king ended up taking the one on the top. And the queen's about to take down and now his air attack should commence soon. And a big plus, he, he took out one uh, extra Inferno Tower. And he still has some, uh, his kill squad is still cleaning up on the bottom. Really nice to see a, uh, I guess it's a 223 at the Town of 10 level. And just need one Hound, especially with the low level uh, AD on each uh, air defense. Rage, nice rage. It will propel your balloons into uh, the air defenses. Freeze on the Inferno Towers, nice. It, you know, freezing the Inferno Tower, I think that's it. That doesn't then get hit and the uh, Expo is grounded so it doesn't, do, it's not, it doesn't matter if it's frozen or not. And all defense down and that's it. Very nice attack Maverick. He's actually one of our new members in 2.0. Nice. Okay, and then one last attack I want to look at. I think it is by. Let's see, Wickham has a six star war. Would be by Beast. He also had a six star war. I think it's number seven or eight. It is number eight. Okay, you don't see much uh, go wipe attacks. Well, you do see a lot of go wipe attacks at the Town of 10 level, but they're used to a two star strat. He's bringing a five golem raid. And he, as you tell, spoiler alert, he ended up three starring it. Uh, pretty much what a five golem does is whenever it gets into the core. It takes all the fire from the Inferno Towers and it lets your uh, kill squad does all the work on the base and especially with the free spell it's just overpower and a uh, go wipe. If your base is not strong enough, the defense aren't maxed, it's, it's a really good um, strategy to bring. A go wipe with um, 5 golems. So let's watch this raid. His, uh, his P.E.K.K.A is carving out the core right now. Still has uh, a lot of golems still up. The last expo is about to be down. And the, f the first ring on the bottom half of the raid will be gone soon. All his P.E.K.K.A is still alive and max P.E.K.K.A's are really, really powerful. It's uh, very fascinating to watch, especially for me. Uh, Town of 10 attacks. It's a lot of stuff to go perfect, but you have a lot of leeway, especially with like such an underdeveloped. He still has purple walls and pink walls. Okay, let's look at one more attack and we will be done. Vertex. Yes, this is the attack I actually saw live. He is bringing a hog attack at the town hall 10 level. Two golems gets the lure. Uh, lightning spell take out the troops. And right now he's just going to funnel his um, heroes to take out the first inferno tower. And also, it would also guide up with the golem. It would guide up for the king to take out the queen too. And this phase one is pretty much done. And now it's just starting for his hog attacks. He's dropping a two-finger drop on the bottom. 
freeze the Inferno Tower. And those Mass Hogs should be able to take out the Inferno Tower rather quickly. Although hogs a lot some a lot of hogs still die, but it can only does five stream at once and he brought the like 35 hogs I believe And now as you see the base is over Has an extra free spell saved it for the top part And I was all I was wondering while watching this night why he used to drop the freeze on top of the inferno tower again, but he Had a better plan and it ended up working. He actually had a lot more hogs left And now it's just all clean up Really, really nice attack for Tex. All right, guys, that concludes our uh, World Recap and Highlight episode, uh, Dave vs. Goliath special. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe to One Hive Labs, where we set the bar for three stars. Later, guys.